So let's recap real quick. We had one 10 cc syringe. We put one, let's say, half to one cc in each one of the pastry plates. We got five of those. Then we took the syringe, squirted a couple cc's into two and a half ounces of the water in the pastry plate, pulled another brand new 10 cc syringe off of it, plus a big old working 50 cc syringe, and I still got three cc's left of the juicy, juicy spore solution. pastry plates here. That one fell over, may not be using that. Put in a sterile zone as much as possible. There's some water. So this is what happens when it goes sideways in the dish or in the PC. And that one's not really usable. we we'll take it out. And there's also a needle there. So here's your basic step. Got that. Now again, be careful your hands. Mine are covered in alcohol, so I'm not too close to the flame. Wouldn't be the end of the world if they caught on fire. It's just alcohol, so don't freak out and panic. But Best if you can avoid that. So again, we're heating the flame, flaming that needle red hot. Drop a couple drops, put it off, right through the injection port. A couple drops in. It's honestly, it's really hard to tell that you're putting anything in there. A couple of drops is nothing out of a couple of cc's. So that's another good reason to practice. There are again, get you. Get my friend. Okay. So I'm going to flame my needle. Red hot on the tip. Work it in a little bit. You can feel it popping. Red hot. Pull that out. Pull it off. Gentle pressure. There we go. Okay. Wipe it with the alcohol. Straight through. Inject a little bit. All that you really see is just that top bit moving. You really can't tell that you're putting in a couple of drops. So you hope for the best, to be quite honest. We have, what is that? Six, I call that six, you can see how dark that is. Nice. So six milliliters in here. But we want more. So what we're gonna do is we have a pasty plate that's just straight water. If you watch the side, it's gonna take about say two cc's in there. I'm going to pull it out. What I have now is a pasty plate full of water. I risk my sterility here for you people. Pasty plate full of water and spores. So we stirred that up scientifically. Just let that dry off a little bit. I've got two syringes in here wrapped in foil. They're used but they're sterile now. So what I'm going to do is I've got I think a 10 cc and uh, one of the turkey marinade baser dealios. Yeah. So we're going to pull out 10 cc's and then whatever's left, we're going to suck up in here. You want to set up so that you can tell where the pointy end is. That's really important on your syringes. So now, here's our clean syringe. So, it doesn't have the cap. It's clean too, so that's already wiped. 
I'm just going to take that, take it off, push it in there. Now, everything that's in there should, in theory, be clean. So I'm going to push that down. push all the air into that, so I don't like that, but we'll see what happens. Hard to see, but there went our... What is that? Eh, we pulled out 10cc. So I think that's alright. Cap that again, and we'll need to label that too, so we'll put that up on top of the thing there. Okay, wipe that off with alcohol. Clean needle. Big as fuck going in, probably ruining the seal, but I'm going to get down here and watch this, i got to tilt that, but if this works, you get what is that, ounce and a half I was pour water now, just from that one syringe. We probably ruined that, but it's okay because it was already up here in the clean container. I am just going to wrap that back up, call it a day. You can see most of our water is gone. We ripped off the top. Oh, actually, some of it stayed. It's kind of nice. We ripped off the top at the bottom of the Those big CC's uh, spacers, those needles are huge and they're really, really rough on the injection ports. But we've got one, two, three, four, five jars, or um, five pasty plates knocked up. Two syringes pulled. So we turned that one syringe into one, two, three, four, five plates. Another 10 CC's. Another, what is that, 40, 50 cc's, and I still have about, I'd say three cc's of really, really dark stuff left in there. So we can do another round of pasty plates, we could do uh, more water injections and turn that into another five syringes if we wanted to. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. These are mycelium, this is from the original multi-spore syringe, so we got some nice white mycelium going in there. It's on our homemade PDA bulb stuffy stuff. That plate is actually pretty well covered. That mycelium looks more aggressive. Might be something interesting there, so we're probably going to go with D. Let's do that. So we're going to put Darwinianism there. On the strong survives. What else do we have? Oh, there's another nice one. Number five. A really, really good strain leaving fruit in vitro, which means inside the dish, in this instance. With our sterile water. Oh, here's the concept. Pretty simple. Take that sterile needle, go into the water. have gone more through the lid than through the silicone on that. Be honest. Okay, so now we have a syringe of sterile water. So now I'm going to take one of those jars with that nice looking mycelium in there. Nice and white. Up a hot towel again. Into the top. I'm going to heat that. So needle red hot. Sterility for the people. Okay, this is the money shot here. This is all came from. So we're going to wipe that off. 
through to hopefully still sterile in through that silicone. So we went in pretty well. And then that white magic. We're gonna hose that right off the agar. And then we're going to suck it back out nice and slowly. Now if you put 10 in, I don't expect to get maybe eight out. It's never gonna work out right. It just isn't. We have that, we're going to start injecting everything else. We want to do BRF cakes with the spores. So, what do I'm going to do? I'll hit agar A. Boom, look at that. BRFK kicking ass. Look how nice and white and gorgeously clean that mycelium is. And it is actually getting down to the bottom now. This is a large amount of substrate. I want to see what would happen. So far, so good. Then we have spores in a regular BRF cake. You can see the individual strands of the mycelium there. We'll get into the sectoring later, but a lot of this is going to be different strains or little substrains in here competing. And then there's the mycelium water in a different medium. This is actually the core and vermiculite like you do for bulk, but I just want to see it as a comparison. Now this is mycelium water, which did grow faster. It's all the way down to the bottom of the jar. Spores did real well, but they're a little bit slower. So we shall see which one yields best. And of course, then you make so much, you end up with all these other jars, more spore water. I can make another 10 syringes out of that. I've got plates I haven't even gotten to yet. And there's more up here. One syringe can make 100. There it is, my in vitro fruit. So it's in the big red top container. This is mycelium water and BRF. Boom, that thing is so aggressive, it's fruiting inside the jar all on its own. That's the one that we want, so that's a keeper. We're gonna let that grow a little bit bigger so we can get some more tissue out of it. And then we're going to harvest it and clone it and grow it out in some more pasty plates. Maybe make some LC with it. A lot of possibilities. Ooh, looking good.